With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question we need to determine whether the line through the points minus 2, 3 and 4, 1 is perpendicular to line 3x equals to y plus 1. Okay? Okay, so this is the first part of this question. Let's solve this part first, then we'll move to next part here. Okay? We have to determine whether these points, okay, a line is passing through these points. Suppose A point, its coordinates are minus 2 and 3 and B point, its coordinates are 4, 1. A line is passing through this. Okay? So, if I want to find equation here, okay, first we need to find slope, okay, let's find slope here. So, slope, suppose m1 is the slope, it is given by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1, this is the formula, okay. So, 1 minus 3 upon 4 minus minus plus 2. So, here 1 minus 3 is what, minus 2, okay, minus 2 by 6. Or from here, what we get? We get that slope of these two points here, okay? Line passing from these two points, slope will be equals to minus 1 upon 3, okay? Now, equation of another line is given to us here. What is this? 3x equals to y plus 1. So, let's write here 3x equals to y plus 1. So, this can be written as y is equals to 3x minus 1, okay? General form of line is y equals to mx plus c. So, coefficient of x is m, okay? And m is what? m is slope. So, from here, slope of this line, suppose it is m2, so it will be equal to 3. Now, we know that if two lines are perpendicular, their slope product, okay, m1, m2 should be equal to minus 1, okay. Now, let's check whether this is equal to minus 1 or not. m1 value is minus 1 by 3, okay, m2 value we have got 3 here. So, this is equal to minus 1 here. So, yes, we are getting minus 1. So, it means that the slope of these two lines are perpendicular. It means that these two lines are perpendicular, okay. We have to determine whether line to this point and it is perpendicular to this line. So, we will write yes. Okay, now come to second part here. Okay, does the line 3x equals to y plus 1 bisect the line segment joining these two points? So, in order to check this, first we need to find the equation of line through these points. Okay, let me write those, those two points here, minus 2, 3 and 4, 1. So, A is minus 2, 3. Okay, B is 4, 1 here. Okay, so we know how to find equation. Okay, y minus y1, okay, y1 is 3 equals to slope, slope we have got, this we have got minus 1 by 3, x minus x1, minus minus will be plus, so this will be the equation of line, let's solve this, 3y minus 9 equals to minus x minus 2, so from here, x plus 3y, okay, and this side will be minus 7 equals to 0, so this will be the equation of the line here, okay, now, suppose this is my equation number 1. Okay, one more equation is given to us in the equation. Let me write this. 3x minus y minus 1 equals to 0. This is my equation number 2. So, let's solve these two equations. Okay, multiply this equation with 3. So, it will be 3x plus 9y equals to 21 here. Okay, and this equation second we are having 3x minus y equals to 1. Okay, so from here let's find value of xy minus plus here. So, this will be cancelled. 9 plus 1 will be 10y here, okay, and this side 21 minus 1, it will be 20. So, y we have got, y will be equals to 2. Now, put the value of y in any of the equation, okay. So, 3x minus y value is 2 equals to 1. So, 3x, it will be equals to 3, x will be equals to 1. So, we have got value of x and y. It means that these two lines will cut each other at point 1 comma 2. Suppose, let's call this point P. Okay, but look in the question, we need to check whether this bisect, bisect means we have to find midpoint of this line, okay, passing through these two points and if midpoint is same as this passing point, so it means yes, it is bisecting. So, let me again write those points, minus 2, 3 and B was 4, 1. Now, let's find midpoint, okay. So, midpoint will be given by minus 2 plus 4 by 2, okay, and this will be 3 plus 1 by 2, this will be the midpoint here. So, 4 minus 2, it will be 2 by 2, 1, okay, 4 by 2 will be 2. So, here you can see here that we have got the point of intersection of these two lines is 1 comma 2 and midpoint is also 1 comma 2 of the first line. So, it means they are, suppose this is my line AB here, this is B, this is A and this is the line for the equation, okay. So, midpoint of AB line was what? It was 1 comma 2 and it is also passing through same point. So, it means, yes, we will write here, yes, the line. 3x equals to y plus 1 by set the line segment joining these two points here. Thank you.
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.